The goal of Splash Food Voucher Program is to reduce food insecurity and protect livelihoods of vulnerable households in the targeted urban and peri-urban areas of Zambia. This program was funded by the World Food Program with World Vision Zambia as lead implementing partner and the Dollar Nutrition Group as the field implementing partner for Ndola District. What then is the aim of the Ndola Nutrition Group? The aim of the group is to combat micro and macro malnutrition in under five years children and people living with HIV AIDS. And as such, we have been implementing a number of interventions with partners in a project called Response to Increase Food Security through food vouchers, we have partnered with the World Food Program, who are the funder, and World Vision, who are the lead implementing partner, and us as the field implementing partner. In this project, we are reaching to about 11,000 households that we are giving food aid, and that is reaching up to 43,000, about 43,000 beneficiaries in Dollar District. These beneficiaries are given uh, a food basket of millimute and 5 kg millimute, uh, 750 milliliters of cooking oil, 2 kg beans, and then they are also given 500 grams of the bar of soap. And this is given to them through, uh, of course, the screening methods that we do as we are partnered with the Minister of Health. So the Minister of Health are the ones that, uh, that recruit these and refer them to us, and then we give them a month up to eight months. This project is also bringing economic benefit to Ndola district because it has partnered with retail outlets. Our beneficiaries are coming from seven communities. They are coming from Jiburukusu, Nkwazi, Kawama, Kabushi, Kaloko, Mushiri, and Indeke. These retailers were identified earlier on with the involvement of World Food Program, the funder, involvement of World Vision, the lead implementing partner, and our involvement. But later on, MTZDL, a company that the World Food Program uh, partnered with, also took over the role of the retailers. The nursing sister, Mrs. Kalinso, makes clear the recruitment process. We had uh, three groups of beneficiaries. First, we started with the underwears, which were selected from the community in the weighing posts where the CHPs uh, monitor their clothes every month. Mm. So these children were referred by CHPs, the growth promoters, mm. to the clinic, mm. those who were bad. So uh, when they are referred from the community, we used to reweigh them to see, even just by examining them, you would tell that this child is underweight. And when you look at the under five card, uh, the weight was really below average, below the expected weight for the child. And then for the patients on ART, there are those that were really sick, starting the ART uh, very late in advanced stage. That person, most of them, if they have no food, even at home, when you ask them, they would say, even if I take the drug, my sister, I, I, I have no food. So those who are critically, you would see that this person has no support. Those were the, 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 the patients who were enrolling. Then we also had another category, those are patients who are on TB treatment. It's the same thing. Uh, those patients who were on TB treatment and we are properly looked after by relatives or earned a bit of income, we used to leave them. But those who had really nothing, and there were some patients who were starting TB treatment late, those were put on the program. A project of this magnitude requires a sound database and clear record keeping. The beneficiaries are are selected from the health centers of which our field monitors uh, we screen them to ensure that they have actually uh, have met the criteria that is makes one eligible for the RFV program. When they screen them 
in terms of wait and night, then they are enrolled on the program. The names are entered on the database and are sent to Lusaka uh, through World, I mean World, uh, World Vision Zambia to World Food Program where they, they are uploaded into the system. And during distribution, we receive the vouchers from World Food Program through World Vision where now we, we link the, the beneficiary's NRC number to a specific voucher. And this is what we follow during the distribution. As Ndora Nutrition Group, we have also partnered with the, Ndora, I mean, the district health management team under a nutritionist to help us as we distribute the food rations. Before we do that, uh, she actually prepares the um, health talks on the way our food should be prepared without losing its uh, nutrition content. The Dula Nutrition Group has put the vehicle to good use, driving nutrition knowledge and awareness campaigns in the seven communities using theatre for development. The drama group that we've been working with, uh, we actually discussed that they should be using the, the language the, you know, the language that is common to the people. So ensure they use the vernacular that is well known to that specific area. Theatre for Development has a far-reaching impact in disseminating information to the public. Actors dramatize home situations to reach the community effectively. Apart from nutrition talks, the drama group also educates through song and dance. This far, above 11,000 households have been reached with a total of 43,000 beneficiaries in the seven catchment areas of Ondola. But how has the project impacted in Dollar District as a whole? The impact of this project has really been overwhelming, such that these beneficiaries are able to involve themselves in livelihood activities. The money that they were supposed to buy these commodities monthly is actually helping them to involve in livelihood activities such as backyard gardening, such as small-scale farming, even it's chicken rearing. And in response to the pre-distribution address, one of the beneficiaries, Babelita, has decided to invest her money in rabbit rearing. She's determined to pass on a self-taught skill to members of her household. Program we are doing no panto. We do not have time to do what we feel could be fun or popular. Now we are going to cut on to our new project. We are going to do something. 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 Babelita has turned one of her rooms into a rabbit pen. But the room isn't conducive enough for effective productivity. The sad situation has got the Dollar Nutrition Group thinking this way. We feel that if they can be any partner who would come aboard, now instead of giving them food aid, this partner should train them in backyard gardening, should train them or should even fund the training of backyard gardening, a training of chicken rearing, training them in the carpentry, training them in, even in small-scale small scale farming so that from there on they can pick their lives. Now it will mean that instead of giving them food aid, 
it will be training. And after they undergo the training, then empowerment, meaning that we buy them the, the raw materials that they may need to, for them to start or to initiate these small businesses. But Belita isn't the only beneficiary ready to transform a life following the food aid. Many others would like to give their lives a new meaning, and the majority of ladies desire to do business in groups. So, to go to Kabila Mukwayukutilat, but to Chitako in power, or put to consider Shako, put to consider Shako Mushilanch, Mushilaya Kwebati, Gavaya Kalako Panch, Valor Shako Fuana Mayoktilati, to a tampa or take up in Coco. Nengo Kosho to Inga Kabila Nishi Ishuponyamani. She Nengo Koshponyamani. But people are saying we should hundred. Now we have a lot of shop. Elonga, but people are saying Coco. She is actually to people are saying that trees, trees, the budget is very low, low, low. The budget is not going to be able to ten. Elonga, but we are still To reach for the three thousand beneficiaries in seven communities isn't an easy mark. So clear were the objectives of the program. That is, increase food accessibility for vulnerable households in the urban and peri-urban areas improved adherence to TB and ART treatment for targeted beneficiaries, and increased nutrition knowledge, awareness and practices for targeted households. One of the retailers explains their role in this life-giving program. What we enjoy do when the beneficiaries come to our shop with the batch and the NRC, we redeem the, we redeem, then after redeeming, we give them the NRC, they get their foods off to their homes. This project so far has been of benefit to us in the community and me with my business. When we redeem, we only redeem one, one NRC per voucher. So that means no person can take the food twice. When we redeem, we give the beneficiaries the food that they are supposed to get. They get two bags of meal meal, two by two kg beans, four bottles of cooking oil, then two bars of meal. Without a shadow of a doubt, the Splash Food Voucher Program has boosted the economy in Indola District. Another retailer adds. I think uh, the project has helped my business to grow in so many ways. The fact that I've opened some other outlets due to the expansion of the business, meaning that my capital has grown. The fact that I've employed uh, people from this township here. Yeah. So there's been some job creation as well. Certainly, the program has brought direct and indirect benefits to Ndola residents. But how involving was the monitoring and evaluation process? We were given these uh, motorbikes for, for easy mobility and also to reach uh, the, our places or our catchment areas uh, in time. During this time also, my role was also to ensure that uh, 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 every uh, beneficiary which are enrolled get the items on time. It was appropriate to introduce a community help desk for purposes of effective feedback. This is where the beneficiaries, whatever the complaints they have, they convey to the same table. Uh, on the same desk, there's a book where all these complaints are recorded. It will be either the questions from the beneficiaries or whatever they want to find out from the program. It was open. Come rain or sunshine, monitoring and evaluation was very key to ensure the success of this project. However, there is one major challenge. Because when we give food aid to these beneficiaries, they may see it and then there is going to be the donor dependency syndrome. So in the near future, we think that such projects should do have a component of livelihood activities where there is a training for livelihood activities and beneficiaries should be supported in livelihood activities so that they can go on even after food, food aid. One belly or two may go empty after this program, but the hearts of many beneficiaries will remain full of thanks to the funders which have been summed up by the Ndola Nutrition Group project leader. We heartily thank the funders, that is WFP. We also heartily thank the lead implementing partner, that is World Vision who have capacitated us with, the, with managerial skills to manage interventions like this one and many other that are yet coming. We are also thankful to the National Food and Nutrition Commission, who is our mother body where Ndola Nutrition Group is registered. 
We also want to thank the, I think, the members of staff for the job that they did to carry forward this, this activity. We think that uh, though the, the, the project is coming to an end, we will have one way or the other to keep them on board or even keep them on database so at any time we can call them to duty. The Splash Food Voucher Program proves one point that God had made more than one good Samaritan. Food aid was given, health was restored, and lives have been changed for the better.